troubled man. That's why I don't like to sleep. He talks about the war a couple of times. Today they call it PTSD. Anybody that fought in a war suffered from it. Shay, he has his demons, but Thomas has his own things going on. Things I seen, shit. Wasn't scared no nightmares. Now he wouldn't sleep to escape them. Working with La Monica is it's special. It's very special. This is a beautiful scene. Elsa's on horseback, surrounded by these cattle, and it's got this sense of peace and calmness that we haven't seen much of in the show. How's that? In that moment, she's very vulnerable, but she's exhilarated by the vulnerability, and being put on the spot like that is exciting to her. And then can't help himself but go in for a kiss. There's a slight second of, oh my god, did I just make the wrong decision? She kisses him back right away. <laughs> it's thrilling for her. I've scared Eric to death so much. You're gonna shoot me? Think about it. Well, I think James understands that she's grown up, and that's after he catches him kissing. Daddy. I mean, he even says it to her. I can't treat you like an adult, but it suits me and a child when I'm worried. Your mother. It's gonna be a different story. You gonna tell her? Hell no, I ain't gonna tell her. You gonna tell her. He's scared of his wife, <laughs> as you should be. <laughs> Ready, action. The three of us are the only people that can help these people make it to where they're gonna go. I think my biggest concern was, all right, so how is this gonna work? By the time I get these misfits moving, it'll be a midday, farmer. I ain't no fucking farmer. You were. I was a captain, too. I don't call myself that either. Thomas is a guy that he sits back and kind of sees everything. So he sees this growing, and he sees what could happen between James and Shay's relationship. You need to have a word with that phone. If James is calling him out and talking back in front of the immigrants who we're supposed to be leading and protecting, what's to stop them from doing the same thing? And then you just have chaos. There needs to be one leader. Let me do it. And I'll make sure it sticks. <laughs> And that's who Thomas is. He tries to talk it out, but he has his code. And you keep crossing it. Let me go take care of it. For a while, you think James doesn't really care about anybody but his family. He goes into his tent, and he tells Margaret, and he wakes her up and goes, we need to cross tonight. These folks are going to need help. We can't help if we're one of them. We have to take the most dangerous route. And I think that's really telling about James' character and who he is as a person and what his heart is. Crossing a river in a wagon it literally was one of the most dangerous things you could possibly ever do. I love you. Why'd you say that? I just want you to know it. Now I'm nervous. It took a lot of technical work for everybody to figure out what the path we were going to take was going to be. And you're working with wagons and horses and at night. They put the fear of God in me before I got on the wagon because they're really dangerous, honestly. You really had to pay attention. You should have explained what everything meant. The thing that makes it difficult is just the physicality of it all. That's why they had to lighten the load. The Oregon Trail was literally scattered with belongings of these immigrants along the way. You know, and, and he told them, he told them when they left Fort Worth. If it ain't absolutely necessary, it doesn't make the trip. I mean, from the immigrants' perspective, it's a disaster. We won't get to Oregon with nothing. How do we make our lives with nothing? The first reaction is quite angry, I would say. I think you do this journey with a certain image. That image slowly fades. You are pioneers, and that's all you are until you get there. Well, we got to have it. You, know, you don't have to have it. You have the journey. That's it. It's heartbreaking. That part of it is heartbreaking. You can't get a bunch of actors and go and cross a river and have it be the danger that we represented. Those things are what make it look dangerous. And these guys are really good at doing that. The crew are the best guys in the world. And they prep so much to get everybody as safe as they possibly can. It shows the chaos and the danger and the precarious situation that everybody was in. And then Elsa comes and plays the piano. So she plays it for potentially the last time. It's just this really sad, tragic song. 
Ultimately, at the end, she just walks on through and sees the aftermath. All of us are pushed to what we think will be our limit. And it's horrifying, but she gets to walk away from it with no battle wounds. It's again a reminder that there's nothing easy about this journey.